You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Court. When common decency between two parties cannot solve a dispute, Community Court is there to solve the problem. All rise for the most honorable judge, Kenneth Vaccaro. Oh, all right, everybody. Uh, to get us started, I just want to open up with some encouraging words. And that is, dare to soar. Because your attitude almost always, almost, not, but not quite always, but almost, almost always determines your altitude in life. Your attitude... <laughs> And I can tell you right now, Junior could do with a better attitude. That's very Junior? inspiring, George. Thank you. Hey, oh, Junior. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, we we have, uh, gosh, uh, a dynamic uh, case today, if I may say so. Uh, we have uh, the NRA, uh, represented by Mr. Wayne LaPierre. Hello. Hello. Uh uh, you are suing uh, Panera Bread uh, because they don't allow uh, guns inside their stores. And uh, Panera is being represented by Mr. Uh, Joseph Crushon. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. Well, uh, Mr. Uh, LaPierre, uh, what exactly... Uh, well, what is your case... Well, it's very simple, okay? I can tell by your hesitancy in your voice, Your Honor, that this is absolutely preposterous that Panera Bread would not allow us to... Well, uh, my hesitancy is related to my attitude, which I am trying to change. You're trying to make it soar, Your Uh, Honor? That's right. Okay. Dare to soar, Your Honor. That's right. Dare. You got to dare. You got to have some courage. The bailiff is right. Dare to soar. And dare to be an American, which means... His name is Cliff. Oh. Well, Cliff... Dare to soar and dare to be an American with your right to bear arms. And that means inside of Panera Bread or inside of a playpen, inside of a grade school. It doesn't make a difference, okay? At the end of the day, this is unbelievable that Panera Bread would not allow good, upstanding citizens to bring their handguns or their machine guns to have a bagel. Yeah. Mr. Crushon? I, 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 I can't believe we're even here, Judge. Uh, hey, can I just point out that your name is very similar to Crouton? Uh, yes, yes. Do you get that a lot? Uh, I, I get that a lot, yes. Uh, I eat a lot of salads, uh, coincidentally. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, I, I go very well with a salad. Um, you go very well with a salad. I, I, I do. I, uh, whenever I go into my local Panera Bread, uh, I always order the uh, large salad with no croutons because... I'm enough. See, but they didn't ban the right to give you croutons. You don't choose. You choose not to have them. But let's say Panera Bread, your company, would refuse to give you croutons because there's gluten in them. Would that be fair as an American citizen with rights to choose? No, we we have nothing against any American choosing whether or not they want croutons. On their salad, gluten-free, non-gluten-free, we provide both kinds. Uh, we just have made a strong stance against armed patrons. What about salted almonds or non-salted almonds or maybe crayon raisins? We don't- Mr. LaPierre, who are you representing today? The NRA. All right, not the, and that doesn't stand for Nuts Regulation Association, does it? And it doesn't stand for National Restaurant Association either. It stands for National Rifle Association. Yes. So if I want to bring my rifle into a Panera Bread, I have the right as an American citizen to do so. No. No. Discrimination. At Panera Bread, it is a private business. Uh, Judge, I believe under the law, we have the right to refuse service uh, and entrance to anyone. Um, we It is clearly stated on the front of every door, no shirt, no shoes, any arms of, of any kind, no service. See, and that is exactly the root of the problem, Your Honor. If I walk to the front door with my gun, I should be able to force myself in there, and he won't allow me. <laughs> 
Absolutely, we will not. If you want to enjoy a fine bread-based meal with your arms, sir, then you can go to the Aubon Pond down the street. Because we here at Panera Bread don't want your business. But I don't support French naming restaurants, okay? I want to go to Panera Bread. Well, that sounds like your problem, Mr. LaPierre. It's not a problem because you're not giving me the right to enjoy Panera Bread like I did every single day prior to this crazy well, idea of Mr. You, Crouton. You certainly do, well, and it's a crouton. Uh, Mr. LaPierre, you certainly do have the right to enjoy some Panera Bread. Nobody is taking that away from you. Uh, but why, may I ask, is it necessary to bring uh, uh, a gun or a rifle or anything of that sort into uh, a restaurant, in this case, Panera? Thank you, Your Honor. Well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. Because if I leave my gun or rifle in the back seat of my car and someone walking by happens to see it, they might break in my car and steal it and walk 500 feet down the street and rob a bank. Okay, well then let's uh, back up and... Why Why must you have a gun in your car? Well, I have to protect myself at all times, especially in this day and age when you've got Ebola viruses, you've got other kinds of flu strains, okay. you've got uh, rabid rabbits running around. If they start attacking you, that hurts. Are, are you suggesting you would gun down anybody that had the flu? No, but a rabbit I would. But I should have the right to gun down somebody with a flu. Uh, I don't want to get... Uh, all right, let's just let's just take that for what it is. You think you should have the right to gun down somebody who has the flu. Mm-hmm. When's the last time you've been sick, Your Honor? Uh I I was sick two weeks ago. And how long did that put you out for? Just a day. It was pretty minor. Okay. I didn't need a gun or nothing. Well, you, you lost a whole day, and sometimes, like, I know in the previous... I, I didn't lose a day. Well, think about it, Your Honor. I mean, I was listening to the news the other day, and there's that guy, Richie Rich, who was on the show, and he was talking about how he on gets... On the news show? Yes. Yeah. The Wind World local news show. I was listening to it earlier, and he was talking about how he gets richer by the second. So imagine if you take a whole day away from a guy like him, an upstanding, wealthy person like him, instead of shooting that person the flu that doesn't set you back for a day for being sick, uh-huh. you could still make money. Uh all right. Well, I guess for people like Richie Rich, that that's their that's I'll, their thing. Yes, I, Mr. Crucian, you're. I would just you're... like to point out that we at Panera Bread provide a fine selection of soups, and we have a lot of sick customers coming to us on the way home from the doctor's office, needing to pick up gallons of chicken soup, and if we allow, just men. Uh, like Mr. LaPierre, to enter our premises armed with the intent to shoot the sick, that uh, many of our patrons will be scared away. That will hurt our our bottom line in the long run. And I would also like to note, Mr. LaPierre, we provide a secure gun check outside of every Panera Bread that you have refused to use. So your guns are safe at Panera Bread. Well, that is true. However... That gun check is scanning the guns, and it can ruin the bullets and the gunpowder with inside of it. And secondly, on the note of the soup, I should have the right to defend myself from a, an ill wave of zombies coming in to get gallons of chicken noodle soup. And so if I need to protect myself, at a moment's notice, I should be able to draw. See, that, I guess we at Panera Bread side with the sick zombies. Well, and I'd like to point out that this rule that Panera came up with... Uh, uh, came about as a result of an employee mm. bringing a gun, and it it yeah. incidentally went off, mm-hmm. and uh, it punctured uh, one of our soup tankards, and which covered the floor in soup. Several people slipped and fell and hurt their hips, mm-hmm. um, and sued us. And we don't want to deal with an incident like that ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I, I'm representing uh, uh, the Mr. Crouton in this case. I was the, uh, Yeah, Mr. Crouton in this case. Uh, I, I was the one who slipped uh, or shot the tankard and made everybody slip on accident. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for your contribution, Michael. Could you please just... You can sit back down. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Let me know if, if you want me to, to, to talk again. <laughs> yeah, Your Honor, see, that's exactly what I'm saying. 
if they did not have a person like that working there, they chose to have that person work there. And he oh. made a bad decision by shooting the tankard. I, on the same token, should have the right to choose whether or not I should bring a gun, a f- any other kind of firearm, or not into Panera Bread. Maybe I want to bring a bolo tie. Maybe I want to bring a whip. Maybe I want to bring a machete, just in case I need to chop up Mr. Crouton's salad. Um, to answer, uh, uh, Michael, uh, yes. what happened the day you brought a bull whip into work? <laughs> yeah, I was I was whipping Steve, who was making the bread in the back, just as a, as a joke, mm-hmm. <laughs> and his his kneecap flew out of his knee. Oh my See, god! <laughs> into this the bread. Is what ha- this is what happens when jokes go awry, when armaments go awry. We at Panera Bread are committed to being a weapon-free eatery. Your Honor, I mean, you can't seriously think that that's a legitimate excuse for not uh, allowing Yeah, I seriously can. I seriously can, and I rule in favor of Panera Bread. I don't even know how this came into my into my courtroom. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Let's go outside live, the courtroom, with the defendant and the plaintiff, to uh, Wilford Taylor. Wilford, what's going on out there? Hey, I'm here with uh, Mr. Uh, Krushan, uh, what yes. do you think about the judge's ruling? Uh, I think he showed uh, uh, an excellent uh, sense of justice today. I, th- I think the judge really dared to soar with this verdict. Aye. And, uh, and to what heights do you plan on daring to soar? I plan to soar to the stratosphere, to near space, because my attitude is wonderful and my altitude will be equally high. And uh, Mr. LaPierre, uh, what about yourself? I'm mad as hell, and this is why I'm mad as hell. I'm about to go out and shoot a bunch of pumpkins with one of my guns, okay, and turn them into jack-o'-lanterns, because it is not fair what the honor ruled. Matter of fact, he didn't even give the rest of the verdict, but after they turned the cameras off, he said that I'm in liable for $14.6 million. That's unbelievable. It was a countersuit that happened within the rest of the TV show that we didn't get to see. It was awful. I am so mad. I am so, so mad. I feel like shooting somebody or something. Well, all right then. A lot of different at- attitudes and a lot of different altitudes. The verdict has been made and the court of law has spoken. Tune in next week for another fascinating episode of Community Court. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of a crime that needs to be solved during Truth and Justice. Next on KZKO. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO.